morning, the YouTube people, world, everywhere. So, a uh, little update. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for coming back. Half fast, 719. I'm home. It is Thursday. Um, I got bumped this morning. So, I'm getting the Audi already. I'm gonna change the oil. Uh, I'm getting it ready because I'm gonna go back to the other gang location where I was working. So, gonna get some oil out. This is what I use on it because Audi requires this. 507-00. Um, I have about two quarts in there. And then I need to grab another one and an oil filter. So I'm gonna do an oil change. Car says I have about uh, 3,200 miles left, and uh, I don't trust it, so it does take 10 quarts, if I remember right, or maybe it takes 8 quarts, I don't remember now, um, but anyway, these are 5 quarts each, and I have 2 quarts left over from another one so that's 10 quarts minus 2 quarts that's 8 quarts so I guess it takes 8 quarts um, so I'll have 4 quarts left over I did a little cleaning in my garage to bring the treadmill and elliptical in the garage for my wife so um, cleaned up some of these little cupboards clean my toolbox um, but yeah so I'm just letting the car warm up even though I just came back from an 80 something mile an hour 80 something mile drive uh, so yeah so I'm gonna drive back up to Altores California just north of Reno Nevada and uh, go displace somebody else so yeah railroad job life stupid so yeah so change the oil in the Audi I'm gonna wash it because got all the bugs all the nasty bugs alright before my battery died get all these nasty bugs all over there a bunch of mo uh, moths or butterflies whatever you want to call them um so yeah headlights digging the headlights on the ramp excuse me gotta sneeze pretty sweet I like it I like the lights the bugs Let's see. Got some scratches I probably need to clean up. But came out pretty clean. So next on the list, as somebody commented, next on the list is uh, I'm either gonna paint the bumpers. You guys let me know. I mean you guys know I hate painting, so I'm either gonna paint the bumpers or uh, order new ones and have have the new ones powder coated like I did the other 4th gen because you could see I got some dents here that side's all good I don't know why it's always it's always this side on every truck um, and then in the front I got some dents in the bumper right here got this line of dents all by the previous owner so, you guys let me know what you think. Should I paint these and just deal with it? Or should I uh, uh, order some new ones and powder coat them? Or get them powder coated white? Um, you guys let me know what you guys think. And, uh, yeah, so that's basically what I'm doing today. Um, I'm going to be making two more videos real quick. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. 
for this video. Just a quick little video, letting you guys know I got bumped getting back on the road. I didn't like working with those guys. I liked working with those guys and that group of people. Um, I just did not like the supervisor or the manager. Um, we butt heads. I was only there for two days. And then, uh, and this morning, when I got there this morning, I found out that I was getting bumped. And I was like, all right, whatever. So the manager came up to me and said, hey, you got bumped. Oh, okay. And he goes, what do you want to do? And I said, well, can you hold me for the day? And he said, no. I said, well, can I pin bid? I wanted to pin bid on an assistant foreman job that he has. So I asked him, can I pin bid on the assistant foreman? He said, no. You can bid it, and if you catch it, you can come back. And I said, oh, okay. And he said, do you have anybody on here that you can bump? And I said, yeah, I got the assistant foreman and another guy. And he's like, well, do you want to bump them? I said, no, I'd rather pin bid on a job rather than displace somebody and put somebody out of work just in case they didn't have anywhere to go. And uh, so he's like, no, you can't pin bid. And he's like, so you're going to bump? And I said, no. I said, forget how it came out but anyway I said if I can't be held or can't do whatever am I released and he said yeah you're released you'll be released unless you place a bump uh, today I said okay I'm released and he said yeah so I said alright I'm going home and he goes wait you don't want me to hold you and I just kept walking because that's what I'm dealing with with that guy is he don't want to help me out when I need the help like I asked you know uh, if he can hold me extra or if he can just hold me and he just straight up told me no and then uh, even after he said no you know and I said I can pin bid on assistant foreman um, he says no so at that point I'm just like alright he can't help me out I'm just gonna go home and uh, so then when I was when I was walking away he was calling me calling me by name he's like Fonz hey Fonz and I just kept walking went in my car got my car and left because I don't deal with idiots like that um, he's, a, he's a moron as a as a manager and you know you should be willing to help other employees or whatever not just be a big old jerk so I'm not gonna help him out so anyway got my oil pan I'll go drain some oil. I like to drain my oil when it's super, super hot. Just so you guys don't know, or just in case you guys don't know. This way it drains everything. If there's waxes or anything. Um, but anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. That's going to be it. Sorry, I went on a little off topic. But that's going to be it. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Kind of a rant kind of a whatever you want to call it um, make sure you guys watch it uh, I'll probably do that while the oil is draining I'll make that little video um, and if, of course it's uh, government related but anyway. alright guys thanks for watching comment below subscribe do what you guys do thank you for subscribing thank you for commenting and thank you for watching alright guys later